The Celestial Hierarchy Chapter 1 To my fellow presbyter Timothy, Dionysius the presbyter, that every divine illumination, while going forth with love in various ways to the objects of its forethought, remains one. Nor is this all, it also unifies the things illuminated. Every good gift, and every perfect gift, is from above, and comes down from the Father of Lights. Moreover, every divine procession of radiance from the Father, while constantly, bounteously flowing to us, fills us anew as though with a unifying power, by recalling us to things above, and leading us to the unity of the Shepherding Father, and to the Divine One. For from Him and into Him are all things, as is written in the Holy Word. Calling then upon Jesus, the light of the Father, the real and true, which lights every man that comes into the world, by whom we have access to the Father, the origin of light. Let us raise our thought, according to our power, to the illumination of the most sacred doctrines handed down by the Fathers, and also, as far as we may, let us contemplate the hierarchies of the celestial intelligences revealed to us by them in symbols for our upliftment, and admitting through the spiritual and unwavering eyes of the mind the original and super-original gift of light of the Father, who is the source of divinity, which shows to us images of the all-blessed hierarchies of the angels and figurative symbols, let us through them again strive upward toward its primal ray. For this light can never be deprived of its own intrinsic unity. And although in goodness it becomes manyness and proceeds into manifestation for the upliftment of those creatures governed by its providence, yet it abides eternally within itself in changeless sameness, firmly established in its own unity, and elevates to itself, according to their capacity, those who turn towards it, uniting them in accordance with its own unity. For by that first divine ray, we can be enlightened only insofar as it is hidden by all various holy veils for our upliftment and fitly tempered to our natures by the providence of the Father. Wherefore, that first institution of the sacred rites, judging it worthy of a super-mundane copy of the celestial hierarchies, gave us our most holy hierarchy and described that spiritual hierarchy in material terms and in various compositions of forms so that we might be led, each according to his capacity, from the most holy imagery to formless, unific, elevative principles and assimilations. For the mind can by no means be directed to the spiritual presentation and contemplation of the celestial hierarchies unless it use the material guidance suited to it, accounting those beauties which are accounting those beauties which are seen to be images of the hidden beauty, the sweet incense, a symbol of spiritual dispensations, and the earthly lights, a figure of the immaterial enlightenment. Similarly, the details of the sacred teaching correspond to the feast of contemplation in the soul, while the ranks of order on earth reflect the divine concord and the disposition of the heavenly orders. The receiving of the Most Holy Eucharist symbolizes our participation of Jesus, and everything else delivered in a supermundane manner to celestial natures is given to us in symbols. To further, then, the attainment of our due measure of deification, the loving source of all mysteries, in showing to us the celestial hierarchies, and consecrating our hierarchy as fellow ministers, according to our capacity in the likeness of their divine ministry, depicted those super-celestial intelligences in material images in the inspired writings of the sacred word so that we might be guided through the sensible to the intelligible. 
and from sacred symbols to the primary source of the celestial hierarchies. 